big blow to the Naga peace talks. As many as six rebel groups, excluding the NSC and IM, decided to suspend dialogue with the centre following a raid by the Assam Rifles at the residence of one of their top leaders in Dimapur on June 2. The decision to suspend the talks was taken by the working committee of these six rebel groups who had come together about a year ago under a common platform called Naga National Political Groups or the NNPG. With the next round of negotiations scheduled for June 7th, the stand of the NNPG threatens to derail the talks. In fact, in a statement, the NNPG's working committee said the incident raises question on the trust factor as far as the government of India is concerned. The NNPG working committee added that it was futile to carry on with the talks if the centre through the Assam rifles carries out raids on the residents of even those leaders negotiating in New Delhi. Meanwhile, Nagaland Chief Minister Nephew Rio asserted that the talk should not come to a halt at any cost at this moment as the process has been going on for over 21 years now. Rio added that though there have been stray incidents or problems with the NNPGs or even the NSCN and other groups, that should not bring the all-important political talks to a halt as it will undermine the numerous sacrifices made along the way to achieve a permanent solution to the Naga issue. Well, the uh, ceasefire and political dialogue has been going on for the last 21 years. And uh, there are stray incidences, problems, uh, with NPG group or also with uh, NSCN IM and other groups also but that should not uh, you know bring to a hold of these sacrifices made by everybody the efforts that has been given by the leaders from different uh, groups, different agencies, NGOs, civil societies. And the people want uh, settlement. Reacting to the raid conducted on the rebel group leader's house, Rio said people want early solution and hence stray incidents are not good at all. He, however, added that such issues can be resolved and there will be no solution unless the groups sit together across the table and talk. Rio also made a fervent appeal to the NNPGs to come forward and negotiate and resolve the issue. We all should be very careful in dealing with uh, sensitive issues. And so I think they should resolve the issue because what conspired and what uh, had happened it's not the state government, but it is in between the uh, ceasefire group who are taking a negotiation and the, the uh, paramilitary forces. Those, so they should get it uh, resolved among themselves. Commenting on the quote-unquote ceasefire violation allegation, Rio said restraint should be maintained as these may harm negotiations. No, you see ceasefire and negotiation. It doesn't mean uh, I'm allowed to do anything I want or you are allowed to do anything you want. There should be restraints and uh, they must be doing those things also uh, because of uh, specific uh, informations. That's why everybody has to be careful and uh, be waiting the limit limitation of uh, the constraints or the problems which may uh, create problem for the negotiation. Meanwhile, the Nagaland Tribes Council has said that the raids have created distrust between the centre and the working committee of the NNPGs. The council urged the centre to come out with clear policies if at all, it intends to fulfil its commitment to an early solution to the vexed Naga problem. With camera person Zang, Sarah Konyak reporting for Northeast Live from Kohima.